Enough. That's heavy. Oh my god. <laughs> That's heavy. <laughs> That's heavy. Let's go. I'll get him a bus too. In day love. Gonna be ready. Pag winter talaga grabe. And, oops. Pag winter grabe yun. No? Lalaro ng all yung mag-ama ko. Well, you cannot see them. Ayan. Because it's really dark. Egg. Oh yeah, baby. You have to. I wait. <laughs> to my position. <laughs> yep. Your mom gave me lang ang pinupulot ang tay ng aso. Hindi pwedeng ano pag nakit pag nahuli ka may nakakita sa iyo. You will be fined 35 euro ata. 70 or 35 euro. I'm not sure how much but you will get fined. So you have to take the pupu that your dog's poopo. Libre naman ng ano, ayan no, meron yung, tingnan nyo, ito, yan, kuhaan yan ng plastic ng aso. You can get as much or as many as you want. Basta, pulutin mo lang ang tayo ng aso mo, okay ka na. Libre naman ng plastic. Kaya wala kang ex excuse. Na wala kang plastic, kaya hindi mo pinulot. Hindi ka po pwede magka-excuse ng ganun. So yon and yeah, it's been three weeks since I had my I um miscarriage, and we're still grieving, of course, and still painful. But day by day, we're getting through it. Actually, ngayon ko lang pag-usapan what happened to my baby, to the baby. <laughs> Naiyak pa rin ako. Pero, yeah. Um, to all of you guys who doesn't know, yeah, I got pregnant. I found it out October. And then I lost the baby recently. Okay, what happened was kasi diba nagkagastritis ako and stuff. And I drank and I drank ano, medicine. But actually, the doctor said now we don't know what the reason why I had a miscarriage. Don't know it. But what happened, yeah. I went from the beginning. And where are we gonna go down? I know. From the beginning. And then when we found out, 
I was in, hindi masama. Mama sa malagi pa karamdam ko I was vomity. And then we figure out that I, I was pregnant. Nagtest kami. Nagtest ako. I don't know. I don't remember. But October. Kapit bahay. Sayo. Yeah. And then yeah, we found out October that I, I was pregnant. Then nagpatingin ako. First week in December yata. For end ng October. And then from then, they were monitoring my baby. Every week, nagpapa-ultrasound ako kasi nga, dahil sa pag ko ng medicine, they wanted to make sure that everything's okay. And then, nung by the second ultrasound, the doctor said, yeah, yeah, yeah the baby's there, but there's no heartbeat yet. But maybe it's still early for the heartbeat. So, sabi nila, let's wait another week. By next week, come again and we'll see if there's a heartbeat already. And then, after one week again, oh, home sweet home. After one week again, and you know, um, after the third ultrasound, um, they saw the baby, but the gynecologist, my gynecologist said that there is something wrong, that there is something not right, that there is something very wrong with the pregnancy. And then she asked me to put on my clothes and we will talk. And then we talked and then sabi sa akin ng gynecologist ko, um, yeah. I hate to tell you this, but there's something wrong with your pregnancy. She can see the, the the baby and the egg. Yes, baby. Yeah, you go. Yeah, you go. They can see the baby or the egg and everything, but um, the baby did not develop. The baby stayed an egg, but it did not develop into a baby. And uh, there's no heartbeat, there's no sign, signal of life. So, she told me that I can still wait a week or so. Wow. Maybe it's just too early, but it's most unlikely kasi sabi niya, most probably I'm already in my 7 to 9 weeks pregnancy that time. So, she... <laughs> She kind of told me to go to the hospital already and let it check. So hospital na. And to make sure if it's really um, gone or not. And then by Friday I went to my house doctor and she he advised me also to go straight to the do to the hospital and um, find it out as soon as possible because it's better sooner than later because it's not good if patatagalin pa if talagang patay na yung baby sa loob it's not good if patatagalin pa na nasa inside ko so I called my husband and my husband went home early from his work and yeah and they confirmed they confirmed that um yeah that it was already matagal na na hindi nag develop it was already for quite some time na hindi na buhay yung baby I don't know how long na hindi na siya nagde-develop but they said that yeah it's confirmed na the pregnancy has to be terminated and because it's not going out by itself we have to get it out and they asked me either I want by natural or by medicine only or by operation by parang raspa or something and I said, um, sige, I'll try by medicine muna. And then pag hindi pumaba by medicine, then we can do the, the operation. 
and I had and they gave me a medicine first to parang palambutin yung cervix ko they gave me a medicine something I misopetrin I don't know I don't know the name but so they gave me a medicine that was Friday they gave me a medicine tatlo o apat ba yun ininom ko tablet and then they said yeah we'll turn it on okay wait and then they said that I need to be confined by Sunday kasi I need to be at the hospital when they do it when they give me the pampatanggal ng bata and then we went at the hospital so we went to the hospital Sunday and we checked in parang hotel lang we checked in and uh, after a few hours they gave me um, medicine prostol misoprostol something like that to insert the vagina and after an hour or so I started bleeding and then after more than three hours yet I started bleeding heavily and it's so painful it's so painful para ako naglabor para ako naglilabor and the blood was just too much and buo buo and then I think the baby already came out and I had to stay one night there kasi they need to make sure that the baby or that I am okay and that I won't over bleed and that no complication is gonna happen. So I stayed there and until sa gabi ang sakit and I needed to ask. They gave me a uh, ano yun? Yung IV paracetamol. So the pain will not be that, that hard. I mean, the pain is, was still there kasi paracetamol lang yun. But it was really less kasi 1,000 milligrams ang binigay nila and through veins, through IV so it helped but not totally but it was it was really painful pero masasabi ko, mas painful pa rin yung totoong talagang nanganak ka kasi malaki na yung inirim mo ito naman <laughs> ito naman, para ka nag labor pero hindi intense na kagaya ng you're nine, month, nine months pregnant. Kaya. Nung naranasan ko, yeah, kaya. Kaya yon pain. It's still painful. It's still hell. But yeah, sabi nga ng mga kasamahan ko sa trabaho, I should have taken the operation or raspa. And then, yeah, one whole day, I was bleeding the whole time, the whole time. And then after the next morning, I was still bleeding, but not that heavy anymore. And yes, baby. Bear? You want to watch the bear? Okay, I will let you watch the bear, okay? Okay, I'll just turn on the television for my baby because he is such a good boy today. So I will let him watch. And then the next day, um, I needed to have uh, an ultrasound because para makita kung the baby's the the feet the fetus or the baby the embryo is still there or not and then they yeah they did the ultrasound and they said that yeah na lumabas na yung yung mabas na yung baby wala na wala na yung baby sa chunko but there's still some blood left And then, um, yeah, sorry. And then what happened is, yeah, you know, may natira pang onting dugo, but it should come out again sa next period. Yung natitira blood inside. So now, I still have to wait for my next period, and then I need to go to the gynecologist again to have my checkup, kasi titig nila kung 
everything is okay if um, ah, mama. yes baby ah kung lumabas na lahat ng dugo yun natirang dugo kung lumabas na, ay anak anak yeah and uh, I'm happy that I have my son with me this boy because he he gave me strength he gave me the reason to stand up in bed and keep on going because um because ang hirap I know most women can relate yung mga na na miscar nag nagkaroon na ng miscarriage or they lost their baby I know makaka-relate kayo kahit na ganong early pare kahit ganun ka early yung pregnancy and stuff or gan kahit ganun ka late or ka early the pain is still the same ang hirap nung first weeks kahit mag shower lang ako I was crying so hard and mag breakfast lang ako I was mama, crying so mama, hard mama, yeah the mama yeah <gasps> wow and every time I remember Ma, mama. that yeah oh no the glass broke oh what is that bat and ma, ma, ma remember ko lang na I lost my baby and that I don't have the baby anymore umiyak na ako and I'm thankful that my husband is really a blessing that I have my husband that he was my strength also sa mga hard times namin he was the one who stayed strong and positive the whole time and there's no words there is no word to comfort to comfort anyone who suffered miscarriage naglalaro <laughs> sila there is really no word no words or no word to say para ma mawala Jaron put back my boots put mama's shoes back I'm sorry or I'm very sad or it's not really enough but it helps to hear but it's no words can really lighten what we feel but in time we manage in time it gets better like I say almost three weeks mago one month na since I lost my baby and I, I cannot still talk about it and not be sad or not be teary I still feel bad I still feel sad I still it's still no words I, I'm still grieving but yang ayin ko lang in open up so yeah it did not develop and the doctor the doctors do not know what was the reason behind the not developing but they said that it's not rare ah it's not rare it's really common for women from yeah between eight weeks pregnant to have a miscarriage so what happened to me is really not rare it's not my fault it's nobody's no nobody's fault but yeah I didn't know that I was pregnant when I was drinking or the medicine or when I had my gastritis I really did not know that I was pregnant and yeah that was what happened to us yes baby that's baby yeah babies and I cannot say anything that will comfort a person who just had a miscarriage but I will tell you really one thing everything gets better through time or in time after a while the pain gets less after a while you kinda live through it you just accept it and I know it's really gonna be hard to forget and you do not have to forget 
you just have to think that we have gained like my cousin said or like some people say we gained an angel who is guiding us from above an angel who we did not meet but I'm sure soon we will meet again so that's my story guys and uh, it's really hard but I survived and yeah thank you for listening and I hope I did not bore you I know I just wanted to share my miscarriage experience with you guys so yeah and yeah good night guys bye